Hey, 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 everybody. This is Captain Yeet here for you for another One Piece episode review. This is going to be episode 15 titled Beat Kuro, Usopp, the man's tearful resolve. So, let's get into it. So, this episode starts off with the opening. After the opening, we get a few scenes from last episode. Just a little recap, basically, of what's been going on for the past... Well, not the past few episodes, but like the past two episodes, really. <laughs> right after that, we pick up right where we left off. With Luffy able to get that one hit off on Kuro's face. He gets sent flying like maybe two or three feet. Everybody's really surprised to see Luffy being able to stretch and that he actually hit <laughs> Captain Kuro. <laughs> like everybody's like really surprised. Right after that, the Usopp pirates come out of nowhere. Those three little kids. And they one has a shovel, one has like a hammer, another one just has like a stick. And they just start beating Kuro's face over and over and over again. Obviously everybody starts to get surprised over that. Usopp's like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Run! <laughs> like, you can't handle this guy. And Kuro just lets it happen. Even Django's kind of surprised, like, wow, these kids are going to kill themselves. Zoro's kind of surprised, too. And these kids are constantly beating his face in. Right after that, um, yeah, 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 right after that, they run over to Usopp. They're mad at Usopp that Usopp didn't tell them about Captain Kuro. Pirates are all pirates on the same crew. Tell each other everything, even secrets. Usopp, like, are you serious? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything right now. You guys need to get out of here. They're like, what? Because of Kuro? Psst. We don't care about him. And then he gets up. Obviously, they all shut up. Everybody's really scared. And Kuro just walks right past the kids. I'm like, they didn't mean nothing. And then he just kicks Usopp right in the stomach. And he goes flying, like, maybe two or three feet and lands. Obviously, Kai's like, no, Usopp. And then Captain Kuro gives Django an order. Django is supposed to go kill the kids and kill Kaya. But make sure Kaya obviously put him in his will, didn't kill her. And then go ransack the village like they were supposed to do in the first place. Django goes, yeah, no problem, Captain. <laughs> I gags you. And then he looks at Luffy and he goes, huh, that was a pretty strange technique you got there. What did you do, eat a devil fruit? And Luffy goes, yep. I'm a rubber man. And it's just the way he, uh, it's the, <laughs> it's the way he smiled. That was, that was kind of funny to me. It's just like the side smile that he did. He would just look so happy when he explained it to him. Anyway, Kuro, not Kuro, Django. I'm trying to get the, here it is, here it is. I was trying to get the scene with Luffy smiles. <laughs> I saw that first. But anyway, Django, he starts walking up the hill. And obviously, you know, Kuro just told him to go kill some kids in Kaya. Zoro's not going to let that happen. So Zoro pulls out his sword, puts it to his neck. Here it is. A little side smile. <laughs> it looks so goofy, but it's kind of funny too. A little side smile Luffy does. Yup, I'm a rubber man. <laughs> he just smiles all big. Anyway, uh, Zoro obviously pulls out his sword. And he goes, hey, where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. And it was kind of cool because when Zoro did that, Django looks up. And you see the reflection of Zoro in Django's, um, uh, not eyelids, <laughs> in his sunglasses. Which I thought was pretty cool. Django calls for Boxy. Boxy's the really big fat cat brother in that cat duo. Zoro beat them both last episode. Or like maybe episode before that. I can't, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> you know, I only do these One Piece episode reviews whenever we're on break. And we're on like a two week break, so. <laughs> it's been a while. But he did beat both of them. But... Zoro's attack didn't go as deep as it as he wanted to with the big fat brother Bochi because he's really fat so all that blubber kind of protected him plus I mean he was down but Django hypnotized him to get himself even stronger so that's why he came back up anyway it was one because the attack didn't go as deep as Zoro wanted to but he was still down but Django hypnotized him to make him stronger and make it feel like he didn't feel any pain but here's the really cool scene when Zoro was holding him back and we saw the reflection and Django's sunglasses, which is pretty dope. Anyway, he calls for Boxy to protect him. Boxy, he gets back up. He swings at Zoro. Zoro is able to block it, but Boxy's strong enough to push Zoro into the side of this, like, mountain cliff hill thing that they're on. And the whole mountain cliff thing starts to collapse. Everything's shaking around him. Everybody's freaking out. And Luffy, he's not even moving. He's standing still, focused, looking straight at Kuro. Not worrying about Zoro or anything, because you know his boy Zoro got this. <laughs> you know he got this. Let me put the towel back on the TV. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right after that, Django starts to walk up towards Kira. Not Kira. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. 
<laughs> this ain't JoJo. That's kind of funny. So I have to walk over to Kaya and the kids, and then Usopp gives the Usopp pirates an order. The order is to protect Kaya with that last breath. This is a very important mission. And as soon as Usopp gives that order, we get this really cool scene of Kaya. She was making this face a lot last episode, but I couldn't really catch it. And it just shows like how intense the situation is with Kaya, because I really like how she looks right here. All really make not because it's like a really nice scene of her smiling or something, but it's just like the her the fear in her eyes and like the worriedness for Usopp. She made this face a, a bit last episode, but from what I remember when I did that episode, because it was like I think two months ago, <laughs> I think two or three months ago, I couldn't really catch it because it happened so quick. But it does linger right here just to show the gravity of the situation. Like I said, he gives the Usopp pirates an order to protect Miss Kaya and to run away from here. Um, <clears throat> Kuro is like, you know, what are you doing, Django? Go after them. Because Kaya and the kid start to run away. And he goes, what? Oh, my bad. I was just uh, I was just gawking. And he starts to walk. And Usopp suits him with a little pebble. He gets really mad. He goes, Django, go. He's not a priority. You got it, sir. Starts to run after them. <laughs> and then Kuro... <laughs> he does the he like puts his back to the back and extends his neck and he starts to mock Usa about how Django is gonna catch up to them and kill them in just a matter of time. And he made like the dumbest pose when he did this. <laughs> this is funny. It's funny because of the weird pose he does, <clears throat> and it's also funny because my friend he started to watch One Piece and when well, he didn't just start, he started like a few months ago. He's at um he's at Dress Rosa right now. You know, every time he gets to something, he asks me a question. But when he got here, when he first started, he kept sending me he kept sending me this picture. <laughs> he kept sending me he took a screenshot, sent me this picture like all the time. He was laughing at this. I completely forgot about that too. That was pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, right after that, Zoro, well we pan over to Zoro, and Zoro is like blocking that attack from Bochi. He goes, Well, wow, you couldn't just let me beat you once, huh? You gotta come back for seconds. He kicks Bochi in the face, he backs up. He doesn't do a named attack, but he brings out another one of his sword, because right now he's only using one. And he does a X slash attack, and the whole screen goes black, and you see the X pop up. And then we see a really cool Luffy face, and then we get the halfway point, the eye catcher. And they've been doing this for the past few episodes, but it's <laughs> they literally have the Zoro music play over Luffy's bounty poster, and then there's so Zoro's bounty poster, and then they'll... So, I mean, and then they continue to play Zoro's music. <laughs> like, you're supposed, everybody has a certain theme, and they're playing Zoro music twice. <laughs> I guess because we just had that dope Zoro moment, but still, that was, <laughs> that's not the right song for Luffy. <laughs> anyway, here's the really cool scene where we see Zoro do that Black X attack, which is really dope. He doesn't say any named attack, so it's just him slicing him up with his sword, but it was still pretty dope. And then he has, like, the really cool Luffy face I was talking about. Right after this, when he looks at the screen. I mean, come on, that was dope. Ooh. <laughs> then he just plays Zoro's theme right after that. I don't know why Zoro did this. I guess he wanted some cool points. But he brings out his third sword. And he throws all his swords into the air. He grabs all his, like, um, what are the sheaves? Holds them out. And all the swords perfectly land inside the sheaves like nothing. I guess he just wanted some style points because there was really no reason to do that. <laughs> that was a little overkill. <laughs> that was a little bit of overkill just to do all that. I was like, okay, Zoro. This guy thinks he's not. I mean, he is nice, but that was a little bit of overkill. See, look, he throws all his swords up in the air, holds out all three of his sheaths, and they land perfectly inside of him. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he, just, he just wants to look cool. That's all it is. He just wants to look cool. Right after that, <clears throat> excuse me, Usopp and Kuro start to go back and forth. And Kuro's basically just mocking Usopp because we hear like a lot of gunfire and explosions in the distance. Obviously, Usopp's really confused on like what that could be. Obviously, Kuro's like, well, that's probably Django going crazy on the town. Like I told him, in just a matter of time, he's going to be able to kill Kaya and kill the rest of the villagers. Just like I told him, you can't do anything. Usopp looked, are you kidding me? You don't have an ounce of pity inside of you. You've been living with these people, with Miss Kaya, for the last three years. You don't have any compassion for the people you've been living with? He goes, of course I don't. Like I told you, you idiots. That was all part of the plan. 
when she didn't have her money, then it still be useful to me. Then I might feel a little remorse. But after that, I mean, but before that, it's just a pawn in the game. I intend to win. Obviously, Usopp's really mad. Zoro and Luffy encourage Usopp to get up and go after Kaya. Usopp, like, struggles with all his might. And he's actually able to stand up. And Kuro's like, wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. You're able to stand up. Usopp's not trying to hear any praise from Kuro. Obviously, he tells him to shut up. But then he falls over again. The pain is just too much from... Uh, not Luffy. The pain is just too much for Usopp to get up. He just can't. And he falls back down. Kuro mocks him again. And Usopp swears on his life as a name, I mean on his name, as a man, as a brave warrior of the sea. Kuro will not step one foot into that village. And then we pan over to the captain, not the captain pirates, I don't know why I'm just like forgetting the names, the black cat pirates. We pan over to them, and they're like, they're pretty far distance away from Usopp and Kuro. They're not too far away to where they can't hear, but they can't really understand what Us Usopp's saying, but he's yelling. So they're like, yo, what is he yelling about? I don't know. But look, he's crying. And they all start to laugh. And Luffy looks to the side and gets really mad. And he grabs <laughs> he grabs a giant boulder, throws it over to him, and stands on top. He goes, what's so funny? They all shut up instantly. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. He throws a giant boulder to him. He's like, what's so funny? And they shut up instantly. They're trying to hold their mouth. They do not want any smoke. <laughs> with Luffy, <laughs> they don't want any smoke with him. They shut up. <laughs> anyway, Zoro picks up Usopp and he goes, "Yo, Luffy, me and Usopp gonna go inside the forest and go get that Hypno Freak. Is that a problem? Not at all." They start to walk past Kuro and Kuro's like, "Whoa, where do you guys think you're going? Who gave you permission to leave?" Luffy stretches out his arm. He goes, "I did." All the Kuro has to like, you know, dodge out of the way. Luffy and Usopp's able to go. I mean, Zoro and Usopp's able to go into the forest to go after uh, not Kira again. <laughs> I'm going to put him in the thumbnail because I keep saying it. Uh, Kaya and Django. And Zoro says that he would be a lot faster to go after them by himself. But obviously, he doesn't know the woods like that. So he's going to need Usopp to help him. Uh, Kuro and Luffy start to fight. Every time Luffy throws out an attack, Kuro's able to dodge it with ease. And Kuro's like, wait a second, let me ask you something. Why is an outsider like you meddling in the business of this village, huh? What do you have to do here? I mean, you're like, you're like what business do you have here? Luffy's like, well, there's a man here I don't want to die here. I mean, there's a man I would not like to die. Why are you talking about Usopp? And Kuro's like, huh, so you'll die over something like that? Luffy go, of course I will. But I'm not dying today. We'll see about that. They start to fight some more. Kuro's dodging every attack Luffy does. There was one cool scene where Luffy throws out a gum gum pistol. And Kuro, he just stands on his arm. We thought it was pretty funny. I mean, I don't know why Luffy didn't, like, you know, do this with it. Like, you know, wobble it around or something. But he stands on Luffy's arm. Luffy's like, oh, you're trying to be nice, huh? Kuro runs along Luffy's arm. Runs over to his face and kicks him in the face. And all his crew starts to laugh like, yeah, yo, he got him. That's what I'm talking about. That's Captain Kuro for you. That's my boy. And he just keeps saying Captain Kuro. And Kuro, he gets really mad. Why does he get mad? He gets mad because the whole part, not the whole part, but the whole point of this plan was so he can get rid of the Kuro name. Captain Kuro. He hates that name with a passion. You dumb idiots. And then we get a flashback. We get to see a younger Kuro who looks basically the same, and a younger um, Django who looks the same. Oh, really, the only thing that's different is their clothes. Kuro just has like a huge jacket on, and Django, he just has like a tank top on. That's really the only difference. <laughs> that's really the only difference. It's just their clothes, they basically look the same. I mean, it's only been three years, so they haven't had that much time to look that drastically different, but you know, it's just really just their clothes. Anyway. And this flashback shows the Marines going after Captain Kuro. Kuro's like, you gotta be kidding me. This is the third time this week. Why do they insist on following me day after day, week after week? And Django's like, well, <laughs> Kuro, I mean, you're a pretty famous pirate. Who wouldn't want the head of the Captain Kuro? He goes, that's it. That name, Captain Kuro. No wonder they keep coming after me. I'm sick of being a pirate, being chased by the Marines day after day. I'm going to kill that name forever. 
because the only way they'll stop chasing me if Captain Kuro is dead. Jago's like, yeah, but <laughs> what are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to kill that name today. He walks out onto the deck, and he goes, how many ships are after us? Only one, sir. He goes, make a little lifeboat into the water. I'm going to get in it. They're like, what? Just do as I say. He gets into the lifeboat, sails over to the one boat. The cannon fire stops. They're like, what's happening? And it was kind of funny because all the like the men on the boat were like, "Yo, Django, what's going on? Captain Kuro's sailing over to a boat over." Like, I mean, I mean, they sound like he's sailing over to the Marine boat by himself. Yeah, I know. They're like, "What do you mean, you know?" He looks down at one guy that kind of looks like Kuro with glasses. He goes, "You, you, sir." He goes, "Yeah." <sighs> it was nice knowing you, man. <laughs> and he's like, "What?" <laughs> anyway, they sail the boat over to the Marine ship, and everybody is dead. Kuro took them out. All by himself. They're like, wow, this is crazy. He killed everybody but one guy. And that one guy is Axe Hand Morgan in his younger days. That's crazy. And it was kind of cool because we do get an explanation. Here's a really cool shot when everybody sees that Kuro killed everybody right here. Uh, in his younger days, <clears throat> excuse me, we see that he looked like a normal dude, Axe Hand Morgan. He even had a regular jaw. But it explains that Kuro broke his jaw and he was still yelling at Kuro to kill him because he killed all his other teammates and Kuro like stepped on his face. Here it is, Axan Morgan. Stepped on his jaw and broke it even more. He goes, man, you can even yap with a broken jaw like that. You're strong enough to survive this. That was pretty cool. And this is what they do. They hypnotize the guy on Kuro's ship that looks just like Kuro into believing he's Captain Kuro and makes him dress just like him. Then they hypnotize Axiom Morgan saying that you are the one Marine that survived the onslaught of the Black Cat Pirates. You alone are the one that captured Captain Kuro. And then, and then he said, bring Captain Kuro back to Marine base and assist. He gets executed. That's why he said, you know, goodbye, sir. He's like, what? That, that was pretty cool. They hypnotized them both to think that we do get one funny scene to where after they hypnotized both of them, the camera pans back to the Black Cat Pirate ship. And Django goes, I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a Marine. I captured Captain Kuro. And they all look at Django. They're like, yo, you're doing it again. So he's going to hypnotize himself a little bit <laughs> to think he's a Marine. <laughs> that was kind of a cool callback with Axiom Morgan. And that was kind of funny with the whole Django thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we cut back into real time. And obviously, Jang not Django, um, Kuro was obviously yelling at this man about how he wants to kill the name. And everything and then we see him fight Luffy again now Luffy this guy is nice <laughs> I really like this so he goes to attack Luffy Luffy backs up stretches his arms back and grabs that boulder that he threw at the men earlier in the episode and, and lunges it right in front of him when Kuro goes to attack him and his cat blades get stuck or one of his hands not both his hands but one of his hands gets stuck inside the rock and Crow's like, wow, <laughs> I guess you can do more than just tricks. He goes, yep, I've been training myself to be a pirate. He crushes the rock so he can get a good grip on it, grabs the rock, twists it, and breaks the blades on one hand. Crow's like, what? And he goes, Kuro, if you don't want a reputation, and then he grabs the rock and goes, bam, smacks him in the face with a gigantic rock, then don't be a pirate. And his head goes back. You're just greedy, Kuro, but I have ambition. And then we get the credits. Now, <laughs> that was dope. I like that scene. <laughs> I like that scene a lot. That was so cool. Grabs the rock, to, get, like breaks it, get a good grip, breaks it, and then boom, slams the rock right in his face. That was nice. <laughs> that was really nice. That was dope. And then we get the credits for this episode. So I think um, the next chapter for One Piece comes back next monday or this upcoming monday the 25th that one and my hero so i guess the next time we do this is when one piece on break obviously i was supposed to do a one piece episode last week but the kung fu panda 4 trailer came out so I'm like yeah i'll do that and then i'll do one piece next week which is this week so yeah the next time one piece goes on break i guess we'll do episode 16 this was a really good episode i really liked it <laughs> um there's one more thing i wanted to say about this i forget it's one with Luffy, wasn't it? Uh, something One Piece. Oh, the thumbnail. Yeah, obviously, you're going to click on the episode so you're going to know what the thumbnail is already. 
I have no idea what the thumbnail is going to be for this episode. I didn't really see any good thumbnail shots. Maybe the Zoro thing or Luffy. I don't know. I might put Kira from JoJo in here because I just kept saying his name by accident. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. So, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching. I think you all there for being wonderful human beings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right.